So we're heading to the boat. I'm gonna try to fill these two buckets up with seawater to make my own beautiful crystallized sea salt. So then I have Captain Don who's gonna give me a ride out to the ocean. I hope it's not too windy. Um, but we'll see. We're gonna take a rod, just a spinning rod, just to see if we get lucky. We'll catch some dinner. But it's actually, I didn't bring a hat. Oh, I have my hood. I can wear my hood. Should have bought a warmer hat. It's gonna be cold out there. Yeah, so I fill them up with this, and then I um, I filter them, and then I put them in glass shallow containers in my oven. And I don't even need to turn the oven on because the pilot in the oven, because it's a commercial stove always maintains the oven at like a hundred degrees so here we are yeah we had a really high tide yesterday we lost these boards well actually i recovered them so that's another project we'll have to repair this dock all right we're going to take off on a beautiful grady white vessel
using this filter to filter the water and pour them into these plates. I don't like using metal because it oxidizes and it changes the color of the salt. That's it. Just a few of these plates and then I put them in the oven. turn your oven on and speed up the process of you know the water dry dehydrating and getting your beautiful salt but um i don't want to waste any propane and the whole idea is to get things for free um and so this took me five days you know without just leaving it alone there then i scraped it up and look how beautiful so you want to make sure it's very very dry before you put it into your containers because um, if there's any moisture there um yeah you don't want that you don't want soggy salt and then i just find that it's much easier to put it in using your phone you can hear it it's nice and dry 